もなんだやるかWe are just one month into the 2020 anime season, and there's a lot to cover. To wrap it up in a few words, 5 out of 10. This season's pretty mediocre. There are a few exceptions, but we'll get to that later. So let's start with the returning anime for the season. Haiku to the top is the fourth season to the Haiku series. Honestly, what can I say? It's more Haiku and it's going to be pretty good. I personally have not seen this yet, but I've only heard good things about it. Obviously, if you're a longtime fan of the show, I'm sure you'll love it. If you're new to it, I'd give it a try. Moving on to a Sekai Quartet 2. Ugh, the anime no one really asked for. I never really got into this show, so I don't have much to say. It's cool seeing all these characters from Isekai worlds being Isekai'd again, but it really never caught my attention. If you enjoyed the first season, I'm sure this will be just as good. Give it a watch, let me know what you think. Speaking of Isekai, ReZero returns with the director's cut. This is a great anime, and if you haven't seen it yet, now is the perfect time to watch. They've condensed the show to 13 episodes of 45 minutes and have added some cut scenes and extra dialogue. It's really one of my favorite shows, and I'd suggest you go watch it if you haven't already. Now, with the returning anime out of the way, I think I need to take out the garbage.、Mm, yeah, so, some of this furry stuff and、oh, whatever, whatever this hentai is. Yeah, this all needs to go.、Ugh. Seton Academy is not very good. A human boy joins a school full of animals. He's the only human student there and is just trying to fit in. This anime is labeled as a comedy, but many, if not all, the jokes fall flat. It was a tough watch for me, but it may turn out to be a show for you. Nekopara is the anime sent from the cat gods themselves. How could we be so blessed to have this show? Around every twist and turn in this anime is cringe. If you watch this, you will stray away from reality. You will lose sight of God. Seriously, look, wa watch this. All that being said, if you're the type of person who likes Seton Academy, you should just watch this anyway. Overflow is a thing. Now, this next one, I wasn't really sure if I should toss it in here with these pieces of trash. Inspector has a really cool premise, but oh my god, does it drag along. It laid the foundation for a potentially great story in the first episode, only to be ruined by a second episode that had me falling asleep within five minutes. This anime is aimed to be a supernatural mystery, but it turned out to be a young girl being a therapist for a snake. I've only seen three episodes of it, and I'll leave it at that, but I may return to it just because I think the concept is cool. I really wanted it to be better, but so far it's just not really keeping my attention. Yeah, please take these away. Now, with that taken care of, we can finally get to the good stuff. Somali and the Forest Spirit is a nice addition to the season's lineup. While wandering through his forest, a golem finds this girl and he takes it upon himself to care for her. Now, in this world, humans have been nearly eradicated due to some human monster conflicts that had happened. The show does a very good job at conveying the story and the character's goals very clearly. It also has a very well thought out world. We constantly get to see new, weird monsters, cities, and landscapes, and they don't feel empty. They feel like they've been lived in in full. You can really feel the bonding between Somali and the Golem as the story carries on. And I found myself caring for these characters pretty much from episode one. It's shaping up to be a really great anime, and I strongly suggest you give it a watch. Ishizoku Reviewers. Oh boy, this. This is what anime should be. This is perfect in every way, and I hope it never changes. I think that this anime may be the greatest of all time. It's about a group of adventurers that go around and review the most banging woman of the world. I don't see how anything could get better than this. You may think that this is a meme, but no. This is the greatest satire on Isekai ever. I legitimately had fun watching this. I laughed a lot. I suggest you grab some drinks and gather the boys, watch it all together. You're not gonna regret it, trust me. Keep Your Hands Off Isaacen is another fantastic anime. 
In all honesty, I think it may be my favorite of the season so far. It's all about creativity at its core. While having a very simple story in anime about making anime, the show is really carried by its unique visuals and amazing characters. There was never a point where I wasn't engaged with these characters. Right from the get-go, I cared about who they were and what they valued. Two of them have a strong passion to make anime, and Tall Girl, also Pest Girl, is in it for the money. They are all just really great characters. Watching this almost made me feel like a kid again. It made me want to be imaginative and creative and make something. Although it's the beginning of the year, I think this anime could be at the top. I highly suggest giving this a go. Now, I haven't had a whole lot of time to watch most of this season, uh, but here's a quickfire round of other mentionable anime that seem pretty good. ID Invaded is a sci-fi mystery about the manifestations of a murderer's mind. It seems really cool and I've heard only good things about it. Doro Hedoro is a gritty action comedy, and from what I understand this is about magic users testing themselves against each other. It looks pretty graphic and very action heavy. Last up is Darwin's Game, and it's another mystery for this season. There's a mobile game that, once you start, it launches the player into a battle royale. The only time you can stop is if you die or surrender. Oh, if you've seen any of those three, uh, you know, let me know if you liked them. I'm interested in them, but just haven't had the time to watch. And that brings us to the end. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Uh, you know, if you have opinions of your own on these these shows, let me know in the comments. Uh, what's your top pick for the season, or is there anything that I missed? But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.